citizens! So I haven't talked a lot about writing yet, but never fear, because November is National Novel Writing Month, which means you have about three weeks before noveling completely takes over my life and I become incapable of talking about anything else. But instead of jumping straight into the craziness of that, I thought I'd ease into the writing topic by discussing a few of my favorite writing prompts. I've always been the kind of person who works better off of prompts, rather than just trying to pull something out of my head, since 95% of the time, my head does not have creative things running through it. My favorite way to get the brain sparks flying is free writing. Now, I had never heard of free writing until college, so for those who don't know, free writing is a technique where you set yourself a time limit. I like to go for about five minutes, but you can go longer or shorter depending on your preferences. And for that set amount of time, you put your pen to the paper and write without stopping to think too much about what exactly you're writing. It's great for getting rid of your inner editor and forcing you to produce raw material that you can go back and revise later. Conveniently enough, free writing lends itself to most simple writing prompts, many of which can also be combined if you're feeling a little crazy. You could pick a word or three or five out of a dictionary and incorporate them into your writing. You could hit the random article button on Wikipedia and write about whatever topic you get. Pictures are also great free writing inspiration. Try doing a Google image search for a generic word like person or love or evil. Or try giving yourself stylistic restraints, like writing without using periods, or starting each sentence with the last word of the previous sentence. I'm also a fan of imitation exercises, which are often more difficult than simple word prompts, but can also be more stimulating. In particular, I've enjoyed trying to recreate the poetic list style of Say Shonagon's essay, Hateful Things, and the Choose Your Own Adventure style of Margaret Atwood's short story, Happy Endings. Not both at the same time. Although you could do that, and I'm sure it would be interesting. The things you imitate don't even have to be written down. You could write a funny how-to guide on a mundane subject, a la Robert Benchley's short films, or describe a child's worldview through their actions, like in Levitate by the performance poet Reeves. I also tend to like prompts specific to developing character. You could profile a person in brushstroke anecdotes, similar to these excerpts from a Steve Jobs biography. You could focus on what a character's possessions or living spaces say about them. You could explain a character in terms of their differences to another character. And one of my favorites, if people are defined in part by their memories, then what does your character not remember? This could more broadly become describe anything not in terms of what it is, but what it isn't. Most of these prompts will work for any sort of writing, but for the poets out there, here are a few more ideas for you. Obviously, restricting yourself to work within the form of a sonnet, haiku, pantoum, or villanelle will challenge your creativity, but also keep an eye out for some less conventional forms you can experiment with. Try blackout poetry, or a poem written in Morse code, or tape a bunch of words to a Rubik's Cube and see what happens when you mix it up. So what are some of your favorite writing prompts? Let us know in the comments, and if you use any of the prompts that I mentioned in this video, we'd love to see what you do with them, especially if you write something that you think is contest worthy. If you haven't heard of the Virgin Awards, it's the contest that we're currently running for anyone who has yet to publish a full-length book, so you can check out more information on that at latenightlibrary.org slash virginawards and submit your 5,000 words of prose or five pages of poetry by November 30th. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on Wednesday with a new episode. Peace. My pants are falling off. Why are there sirens everywhere? Sirens. Raw material that you can go back and pro provide later. Oh my god, my eyes are watering so bad. <laughs>